hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm trying something new with the setup today video setup so let's hope this works out well now i'm here to do a comparison video for you guys i'm comparing a luxury high-end makeup brand this is Marc Jacobs and their highliner this is called the matte gel eye crayon now not to be confused with um, the already existing uh, highliners by Marc Jacobs now Mm, I don't I think the only difference between them is um, those are not matte and this the the matte gel eye crayon actually is a recent release maybe a couple of months ago maybe so uh, it, it was released this year so this entire collection they have 11 colors to choose from so these are actually pretty new so um, Marc Jacobs was doing um, a friends and family sale so they were doing a 20% off and then at the same time Marc Jacobs was doing a uh, cashback via Ebates that was 15% cashback so I went ahead and placed my order so I got 30% 35% off of my entire purchase so I was happy with that now um, I wanted to compare these hi highliners actually they are called highliners yeah highliners with my favorite eyeliner not just favorite drugstore eyeliner this eyeliner I use all the time, so just these are just favorite eyeliners. Period. This is a L'Oreal Silk Esme eyeliners. Um, so these are very widely available, drugstore, um, Walmart, Target, and Ulta as well. So these retail for seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. I'm not entirely sure. So, anyways, um, let let me jump into the details of the Marc Jacobs one now. Um. I did get a discount but you won't get a discount always so these retail for $25 each and the amount of product you get is 0.5 grams just half a gram which is not a lot so in terms of ounce it is 0 0.01 ounce so this is a box it comes in it has like the amount of product you get and the name of the product and matte gel eye crayon and uh, just in a gist about the formulation it just says matte not flat extreme color and these are waterproof and um, these are made in where are these made Korea and you do have like the list of ingredients at the back of the box so that's nice and yeah uh, and and I think the shelf life once you start using it is 12 months it says at the back of the box so so I picked up uh, like I said there are 11 colors to cho choose from but I was really interested in just three of the shades one is my all-time favorite eyeliner shade that would be the cobalt blue I hope I'm not blinding you guys but this is the cobalt blue and then this pink shade is not baby pink but it's like a mid-tone rose which I found very very unique um, so I bought that uh, I let, let me just tell you guys the names the blue is called out of the blue and then the pink this rose shade is called popular and then this beautiful teal actually it's not teal it's more of a turquoise a pastel turquoise not pastel it's not very pale but it it has a white base which is beautiful and this is whirlpool so let me just uh, quickly uh, show you guys swatches now this is the packaging it is a twist up it is a twist up so you have to keep in mind that um, the 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 tip of the eyeliner is not going to be sharp always it's actually going to be blunt mostly because you can't sharpen it so yeah so that is out of the blue I don't know if you can see it properly but this is a very very opaque vibrant blue cobalt blue it's very pretty there's no like semi uh, opaque or anything it's just one swipe and it completely you you can't see the skin underneath the swatch and then popular is said mid that rosy shade now <laughs> I was very excited about the shade um, I thought it's going to be so unique and so beautiful but I was slightly disappointed because it does not pop at all as you can see it's like um, it, it, it doesn't pop at all on my skin tone so yeah so that's popular but regardless it's a beautiful shade it's a very very unique I haven't seen any shade like in, in this color before and this is whirlpool there you go that is like so beautiful and popping now um this I share this this crayon the uh, in whirlpool it has a white base to it now usually a white base means bad news for people with dark skin tone 
so but um, since this is an uh, eye crayon or eyeliner uh, it really makes the color pop and like truly vibrant and beautiful it's just stunning on dark skin tone guys so i really really love it this is my favorite out of three so these are three shades that i got so uh, um formulation wise guys um these are f now they say matte but matte not flat i'm not sure why flat is um something bad i'm not sure because these are flat matte they do not have any shine or they do not have any dimension to it when you turn or any turn your head or anything they just lie flat so these are flat matte I, I think that's a good thing but anyways they say flat a uh, matte but matte not flat and these are waterproof and i am wearing uh these shades on my waterline in in this eye and on as my eyeliner on the up on, on my eyelids now i did see um on mark jacobs instagram page uh where they had models wearing the the uh, eye crayon as eyeshadow so i got curious and i wanted to try them on so that is what i i have the shade popular the pink the rose shade on my eyelids on both lids well the eyeliner the on this eye is not uh mark jacobs it's the l'oreal silkesimi but on this side uh on the eyelids the wing liner is the out of the blue cobalt and the um, waterline i have the outer half i have whirlpool the inner half i have out of the blue so um it's t well i apply these on my eyes um say what time is it now i'm going to say seven hours ago and it's still there so i'm really impressed and as you i'm not sure if you can see uh, see in, in in the video but you can definitely make out the turquoise it beautifully pops so it's still uh it, it still remains on the waterline and it doesn't irritate my water my eyes or anything on application or anything it actually went on very 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 smoothly guys i did not have to go uh, over and over again to, for pigmentation or anything it easily went on very smoothly and i'm really impressed as eyeliners now as i said before uh, i saw on uh, mark jacobs um, instagram page that they had models use these uh, eye crayons as also uh, eyeshadow so i wanted to try it out and uh, see so i used the pink one on both my eyes and i have to say it's very average as eyeshadow because um when you apply it, it it's not streaky or it doesn't look uneven but at the same time it doesn't give you the smooth application of a pigmented good quality eyeshadow like a powder eyeshadow or a cream eyeshadow whatever it is it doesn't give that perfect um, smooth complete coverage as an actual eyeshadow but at the same time it doesn't like uh, look uneven or streaky it definitely doesn't look that way it just looks like a wash of color on your eyes and it looks matte obviously now i have to say that it doesn't last well as an eyeshadow on on the eyelids because um it does crease maybe uh three hours into wearing it yeah the the, the life of this eye crayon as an eyeshadow on the lid is actually pretty short by the third hour you would definitely notice creasing and the and, and the eyeliner is kind of displaced where you applied it and it's coming down and so you can definitely start seeing your eyelids after say three hours so um i do not suggest using these as uh, eyeshadows maybe if you're just wearing them out for an hour or something you can go ahead and wear it but after three three hours and i do not have oily eyelids at all and i did wear an eyeshadow primer underneath so if you have oily eyelids your your results would be far worse than mine so i do not um recommend these to be worn as eyeshadows just on the waterline as an um as as, as of um as for an eye eyeliner as a winged eyeliner on the eyelids they go on very beautifully and easily now i now for a comparison with the l'oreal one now um the moment i saw these two my mind went back to the l'oreal silkesimi eyeliners where they have these two shades the same cobalt blue and like this beautiful turquoise now um these retail for uh 
seven eight nine i'm not exactly sure but the availability of these are really really good and ulta does that one buy 150 plus buy one get 150 percent off very very often now um so these the the amount of product you get is 1.1 gram which is double than what you get in the mark jacobs highliner and these are made in germany now um mark jacobs boasts that their eyeliners are matte but these are not necessarily matte but at the same the, let me just swatch out this is called cobalt blue this is a dead on dupe guys for the uh, mark jacobs out of the blue one these two are exactly the same now i have to say that this is completely matte and this is not completely matte but it doesn't have glitter by any means it's like uh it's like a satin maybe but on the eyes i don't see any difference it doesn't look shiny or anything on the eyes and uh let's see true teal true teal is actually a teal shade not a turquoise shade in the video maybe it looks similar but this has shimmer and this is not as vibrant as the mark jacobs one I would say this has shimmer and this does not and this is kind of a tiny bit dull when you comp in, in comparison with Marc Jacobs uh, Whirlpool eyeliner. So yeah, that's the only difference I would say in shade shade wise comparison and formulation wise. This uh, the true teal has shimmers in it and this is a satin finish. So but I feel on the eyes neither of these two shades catch the light or look reflective or shiny they just look kind of um matte i would say so uh, i don't know but um i feel if you use these on the inner con in, in in the in, in your waterline i don't it i mean your waterline itself is like a moist uh you know run, uh, like watery area so um I feel uh, even if you apply a flat matte, it's not going to look like as if like 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 your liquid lipstick looks flat and looks like um, you know like a velvet, right? <clears throat> but uh, and I'm not even sure if this matte look in the in, in in the in the waterline is very flattering. But what I'm trying to say is, all although Marc Jacobs says that these are flat matte on the if you use these in the waterline they don't look flat matte that's what i'm trying to say they just look like an and just an eyeliner uh, so i feel it doesn't really make a difference using like a complete flat matte eyeliner in the waterline and in the just like a, an, an eyeliner with shimmers i'm confusing myself right now anyways i hope i made uh, that made sense hope i communicated what i tried to say properly but anyways um these two are a dead on dupes and I prefer the Marc Jacobs uh, turquoise over this because this is kind of a tiny bit dull when you compare it with the Whirlpool from Marc Jacobs. Now I have on, on this eyes, I have um, the L'Oreal Silkissimi ones in the waterline, the half, the outer half of the waterline, I have uh, the teal shade and the inner half of the waterline, I have the blue shade. Now, as you can see, it looks tiny bit dull as I, as I told you, definitely the whirlpool on this eye pops beautifully, but this has kind of dulled down. Not just because uh, I, I've been wearing this eye look for seven hours, but when I put it on initially, it definitely looked duller than this eye. So there's that. And so, yeah. What else, guys? I think I've covered everything. I reviewed all three. And, and as eyeshadows, I do not really like these. I don't recommend wearing these as eyeshadows because $25. Use these eyeshadows. You have some really good eyeshadows for that retail for $25 already in the market. So you do, you do not need to use these uh, as eyeshadows. And I do not have oily eyelids, but still they started to crease. And the, the the eye crayon that i applied on the eyelid started displacing and moving so i do not recommend them but uh in the waterline and just in the lids and every and as um what's the word the winged eyeliner they do they go on beautifully easily they glide on beautifully and they do not skip they do not like i, I didn't have to go anywhere 
in, in any part of the eyeliner, on, on the eyelids and the waterline, I did not have to go in twice at all. I just one sweep and it went on beautifully, didn't skip or anything. And the opacity is, is actually 100% uh, perfect, at least for these three shades. I can speak for these three shades. If, if you're eyeing any other shades, I suggest look up Temtalia's reviews before buying them because these are very, very expensive. Or if you're just looking to try them out, um, just buy them at Sephora because the returns is very hassle-free and easy. Now, um, as to comparing it with the L'Oreal one, um, I'm going to say... Um, instead of buying out of the blue, I wouldn't miss out of the blue from Marc Jacobs because this is, I would say, shade-wise, opacity-wise, and performance-wise, this is exactly the same as out of the blue from Marc Jacobs. The Silk, the, the L'Oreal Silkasmine Cobalt Blue is, I would say, exactly the same. So uh, I would not miss Marc Jacobs uh, out of the blue, and I certainly will not miss. Marc Jacobs popular because it doesn't pop on my skin tone and uh, the only thing I think is truly unique um, is the Marc Jacobs Whirlpool and when it comes to uh, L'Oreal Silkasimi's True Teal I think I will not miss this if I do not own it but I will definitely miss Marc Jacobs uh, Whirlpool so I think these two are the winners for me L'Oreal's uh, Cobalt Blue and were um, Marc Jacobs Whirlpool. So these two are like my favorite and I think these two are really, really worth it. Definitely check out, if, if you really have the funds to uh, at, at your disposal to spend $25 on an eye, eye crayon on a fun shade, just definitely consider this because it's really, really pretty and it definitely lasts longer. So yeah, that's my review guys and these are my swatches. I hope you guys found this video useful and yeah, I think we've covered all all the things that I wanted to say and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe. Bye.